Hello, everyone! Welcome to the Cup of Joe Show. A happy Monday to you all. Today we're going to be joining a Digimon group patch. What is the group patch? You might wonder. I have... Oh, I have a picture right here. Hold on, where is it? There it is. This is a community, non-official type of event thing. It's where everyone on the given date begins a Digimon. And they, you know, kind of update progress as the days go on, being like, this is what I got today, this is what I got this day, ending in a particular sort of way. And so I, didn't, I wasn't able to join the first one because of all the Windows update cam issue things that were happening. This cam is still kind of weird, but we're going to go with it, okay? You probably won't notice the weirdities with this cam, but trust me, they're there. And inside I am dying every moment knowing that it's not perfect as it as it could possibly be. So anyway, uh, we're going to be joining this, the Hurricane Hatch. It's in light of recent events, perhaps an unfortunate name, but it does mean that we can choose either a an aerial or an aquatic type Digimon. <laughs> They're dead. How long have they been dead? I mean, I knew that. Okay, so when we last had our kids, we had Monzaemon, which stayed alive for a very long time. And our main concern was to keep them alive long enough to see their brother turn into Metal Garurumon. And it happened, so that's all good, fine and good. So we can restart them. Now, which eggs shall we raise? Uh, I haven't put a lot of thought into that. I obviously want to make sure that I end up with an aquatic or aerial type Digimon. Am I going to run two at once? No, no, only because I'm actually, I've had it up to, well, I can't show you on this camera. See what, this hand, this hand's going to go way up, way up high. Okay, I've had it up to here with all of the freaking poop. So we're only going to raise one so the poop isn't absolutely unbearable. Oh, did we unlock some stuff? Oh, is that Zubamon's egg? Oh, hey, Solid. Solid Sneak says that's V3. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up my little egg chart. You know? It's really hard to... It's really hard to choose, actually. It's very hard to choose, but I think we're gonna go with... Uh, yes, the version 4, because... I Actually, I don't know if any of these in the VPET English version 20th. I was looking, just a very quick cursory glance, of course, but I, I didn't see any eggs where it ends on an aquatic or aerial type Digimon. Yeah, Solid Sneak says version 20 doesn't have a dedicated aquatic egg. It's just pick anything that evolves into fish or wings. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that. I love. I actually really like that. It gives me some more freedom. <laughs> oh God, no, that's not good. Okay, so <laughs> these are the eggs I'm looking at, okay? Uh, I'm looking for anything that kind of ends in wings or fins or anything that I could even stretch with the imagination. I kind of want to run the version five because I actually have always held a very special place in my heart for the version 5, because it's basically just the Godzilla Tamagotchi. Uh, it does end with Mugendramon, which in my defense, or at least it could end in Mugendramon, which, which in my defense could kind of looks like a Blastoise, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the Blastoise. There you are. There we go. And now that they're in egg form, I still can't clean the poop. Can you see my mug? This is my coffee. Coffee looks so gross once it's chilled out. As you can tell from it not being a Tamagotchi right now, my coffee has long gone cold. And that's okay though. I'm gonna keep sipping on this coffee cause cold or hot, it is still the mana of life. Oh, here they come. I'm so sorry about the mess. I'm so sorry about the mess. Okay, you know what? You're very silent. And it's funny because I don't know if I put you on silent when you died cause I didn't want to hear it or if it's just you, the English version 20th being quiet. What? What? Yeah, okay, no, it was just the English version 20 being really, really quiet. So who is this? Zudumon? Of all the babies that have come and gone that I've rep uh, that I've memorized, I don't remember Zudumon. So cute! And now they ain't got no duty. They're a nice fresh baby and I'm going to take care of them. Why is it that all of the English versions of the stuff that we get from Bandai lately, why does it gotta be so... <sighs> not as good as the Japanese one? or as good as a more recent one. I know, I, like, I shouldn't be negative. And as always, my number one goal is for virtual pets to thrive in America once again, in all English-speaking territories, and oh, really, in all places where previously it was enjoyed but no longer is, okay? But that doesn't quite roll off the tongue quite as easily, so don't go thinking I just want this for America, okay? I want it for everybody. And part of that, though, is is asking for better, is asking for more, okay? Like, w w I could bury my head in the sand. Oh, I could. I could sing nothing but praises for this thing, and I could say, come on, guys, it's not that quiet, it's not that bad. And I could probably become Bandai's official digital pet boy that much faster, but I can't. And why? Is it because I care about you and me, the consumer? Partially, but also mostly it's because I'm not good at not saying stuff that is on my mind. 
it, yeah, it does get me in a lot of trouble, actually. It's not good for branding, but, you know, I appreciate you guys being here anyway. Sorry, I got too passionate for a second there, and my cat gets really upset whenever I get loud. Hopefully you can't hear her. She's in the other room now just caterwauling, because that's... She's upset. She's... Uh, it's probably because my cat wants the fancy cat food, and she knows that every time I open my mouth and don't sing Bandai's praises, I get that much further away from becoming the official digital pet boy. And she's like, my science diet, my frisky kitty flakes. And I'm sorry. Sudamon is, uh, it's funny. They're not like dying as fast as I'm used to. I think it's because I had recently been playing with the Tamagotchi on and the meats and that thing, uh, they go all classic style, classic style, all in on when they're a baby, they lose stats like overwhelmingly like it's like a real baby it's like no matter what ha like i just fed you you just pooped how are you pooping more yes i'm partially just jealous but why oh look they pooped and they didn't lose any hunger interesting the lovely folks at youtube won't be seeing this on the 15th in fact even today of this recording it is the day after because the actual hatch started on sunday which is all fine and good in fact it makes more sense for the for the average just virtual pet player because that's on a day where you know, you typically don't have too much going on, and you have the time to take care of baby Digimon, which needs lots of care for a little bit, and so on and so forth, but my normal stream time is now, and so we're doing it now. Oh, you know what I did this weekend? You know what I did this Saturday? I went to Rose City Comic Con. It is a convention based in Portland, and we've never been before. The only other convention that I've been before uh, two before was this one in my old hometown called Tokyo and Tulsa and back when I went to that convention my friends their mother was actually the person who started it and the first couple years it was kind of like eh but that's you know that's just the beginning of conventions for you other than that I went to PAX West a couple times and that was like the bar I guess for me so we went to Rose City Comic Con our family Moose was so excited about this I didn't want to go but Moose was all like we gotta go to Rose City Comic Con and so we spend hundred and five dollars just to get in the door just, just to walk inside, yeah? What did I see when we got inside? Nothing but stalls selling stuff. And then on one wall, there were celebrities that were behind curtains that you had to pay money a lot of like hundred dollars, 80 to $200 to just go behind a curtain and spend 45 seconds with them. I'm not exaggerating. And Moose and I were both afterward like trying to have a good attitude because this was Lily's first actual convention she was able to go to. And we were like, is this, you know, that was okay. That was fine. And then like slowly over the next two days, we were just like, that sucked. All we did was buy a thing and leave and Lily didn't even have any fun. Like she met some author she kind of likes and she got like a, a, a little doodle from them, which was really special and Lily liked that. But Moose and I at the end of the day were like, is that just conventions? Is, is, is it just us? Because we were looking into this and not many people are making the same complaint. And so I'm like, maybe that's just what conventions are. Maybe PAX West set the bar so high because at PAX West, you walk in and you get to play all these new games. You get all these promo things. You get to see statues, giant statues, uh, pro promo statues of video games that are coming out. And it's just so... Amazing, and it's like we only paid fifteen dollars less per person to get into Rose City Comic Con, and there was like no statues, no nothing. When you, f it was a big disorganized mess. So that's my review of it. I didn't like it. I will never go to it again. If you enjoy it, that's fine. But I really did not enjoy Rose City Comic Con. Uh, I did get some cool things though. Of all the things, of all of the people out there who are selling art and merch and stuff, a lot of it was the same. A lot of the stuff was very well done, but there was not really much stuff that set anything apart. But I did find. One thing that I just had to have, and I'm never going to use it, but it's these freaking, like, this guy designed and prints his own, like, custom Sailor Moon cards, and I guess I'll just open them for you now, okay? While I'm waiting for my Digimon to evolve. Oh, I hate opening this kind of shrink wrap. Because when you finally get it open, it's, like, so satisfying. You're like, oh, yeah, but, like, until you get that, that snag, you feel so impotent. Look at this. I feel like a baby. I feel like, I've, I feel like I'm powerless right now, and I hate this. Is this what you want? Yeah, Lave called it. I broke out that Swedish wood carving knife. I feel so bad cutting this wonderful holographic foil. It's making me so sad. But I get this feeling I was gonna have to like rip it off and it was gonna ruin the box. I know. Yeah, rip sticker. I no no one should feel good about what they just saw. Perhaps I should have put more thought into that. Hold on. Are you okay? Oh, you're fine. You're just making duty again. Always making duty, man. This is what I got at Comic Con. Prepare to be impressed because it actually is the one thing that I saw and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Look at, look at how holographic these cards are. On the back is gold freaking foil. He said it himself, he said it was legit gold freaking foil. This is just like a deck of playing cards, okay? But, oh, 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 is that Pabumon? Pog, Pogumon, sorry, I always get them confused. Pogumon, well, there you go. And just like that, 
they're no longer at the point where they're trying to die constantly. One, one last play for them. I'm not done showing my cards off. Okay, let me see if I can get this angle to where you can see it properly. Oh my god, it's Mars. It's Mercury. I'll probably never get to play with them because no one plays cards with me. But one of these days, you know... Oh, that's probably one of my favorite. Where, there she is. There's Jupiter. I was about to say, where's my absolute favorite Sailor Scout? What's your guy? What's your guys' favorite Sailor Scout? If you say Tuxedo Mask, you get banned from my channel. But yeah, Sailor Jupiter is my absolute favorite. I think she's really sweet and really cool. But yeah, that's my Comic Con purchase, and I'm glad that I got these. But I mean, the guy has an online store, and I feel like I could have just bought those on his online store and not paid $105 to get me and my family in. But it is what it is. I think one thing I definitely learned about that is if you go to a convention like that, you have to have a plan. You have to have, you have to go for a reason. It's not something, like, it was my mistake, I suppose, to think that I would just walk in and do stuff. Uh, so it does seem like if you go to Comic Cons like that with a plan, you'll come out a lot more satisfied. Okay, Pagumon, you rest. You're going to become a moth, which horrifies me. But then also you're going to become a uh, Blastoise. Thank you, patrons, for supporting this channel, especially Nobro Shifter and Dog Trainer 89. And we'll see you all next time, YouTube. But not you, Twitch. You, you guys stay right there, okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh... <laughs>